When a sunburst raspy cricket comes up against a leaf-tailed mantis, it's youth versus experience. Speeding through the undergrowth, its body ablaze with all the colors of the sunset, the sunburst raspy cricket is not afraid to draw attention to itself. But the happy hues aren't matched by a sunny disposition. This robust bug has a mean streak a mile wide. Attack is always his first choice, and he does it with reckless abandonment. Looking for food? Attack. Feeling threatened? Attack. In fact, his answer to everything is attack. This bug is built to attack. Whip-like antennae, many times his own body length, are long-range prey finders. Muscular hind legs, deliver powerhouse kicks. Front legs lined with thorny spines hold victims in a death grip. While terrifying serrated mandibles tear and dismember. The huge head isn't full of brains, it's full of muscle and they provide enough power for the mandibles to cut through even the toughest arthropod exoskeleton. He's the complete package, really. He can run and climb, jump and fly, bite, kick, and spike as well, and that's only when he's in a good mood. During the day, the sunburst raspy cricket finds a suitable leaf and builds himself a hideout held together with his own silk spit. Believe it or not, raspy crickets can secrete silk from glands in their mouth. And what he's doing is using it to construct a little retreat that he can hide in during the day. When he squeezes into this snug little cocoon, he'll pull his antenna in and curl them up next to the body. He'll just sit out the day contemplating his next big kill. Nightfall is his cue to come out of hiding and embark on a killing spree. His appetite is almost never ending. He won't stop until he's fully gorged himself, which transforms his hyperactive and agile creature into a bloated one returning home on half power. This cricket finds his way back thanks to unusual navigation equipment. Simple eyes on his head serve as super sensitive light receptors. They're called ocelli and they're effective at picking up faint light emissions even from the stars above. It's thought that along with the pheromone trails, this is what allows a raspy cricket to venture far distances afield and still find his way home. The sunburst raspy cricket is an old pro at hunting. But there's a new kid on the block. A young leaf-tailed mantis, still wet behind the wings, munches on a moth. Now, he's actually kind of immature, not very well developed. However, his hunting skills are just fine. With his bright green coloring and leaf-shaped abdomen, this young buck is already a camouflage expert. Mantises sit for hours in one place, waiting for the perfect opportunity. But when that opportunity arises, they go for it fast. Two false eyes. On the inside of the forearms are a neat defensive trick. 
When the mantid is feeling defensive, it'll open up its forearms and show these amazing eye spots. It startles potential predators so that they think they might be facing a much larger foe. But it's the hardened spines that are truly terrifying. Those long raptorial forelegs snatch prey, pinning it down, while razor-sharp mouth parts tear it to pieces. A wandering brown cricket gets no warning. But it's the cricket's lucky day. The brash young mantid has missed his mark and has to settle for a drumstick. It looks like this young guy has quite a bit of work to hone his hunting skills. But if he survives, he'll have plenty of time to hone that accuracy. In fact, He'll get another chance very soon. <laughs> the sunburst raspy cricket is making his way home from a long night's slaughter. What happens when this hardened killer confronts a teenage terror? Next, a brutal encounter in the blink of an eye. Then, a spiked assassin meets a wily warmonger. And later, deadly deeds in Davy Jones' locker. As dawn approaches, a sunburst raspy cricket returns home full and satisfied after an evening hunt. But a young leaf-tailed mantis is ready and waiting. These bug war combatants share similar weaponry. Both grab their prey in a spiky embrace then rip it apart with razor-sharp mandibles. Which one will live to greet the dawn? The leaf-tailed mantis's keen eyes are already locked on the approaching cricket. He watches intently, not moving a muscle. One potential victim has escaped tonight, this time. He can't afford to miss. If the mantis gets a clean first strike, then the raspy cricket is doomed. However, if it misses like it did that first time, it could be the one getting eaten. The cricket is sluggish. A full belly has robbed him of his usual speed and awareness. Even the cricket's extra-long antennae don't register danger until it's too late. In a blur of speed, the young mantid grabs. This time, it's a textbook strike. Once an animal is locked into the forearms of a mantis, they face an impossible dilemma. If they don't struggle, it means certain death, and if they do struggle, it just prolongs the agony. Clutching his victim, the mantid swings upside down. Its hardened mandibles go to work on the cricket's head. Even the tough serrated mouth parts are consumed. That's the final reward for showing some attitude. You get your head bitten off, literally.
It's a harsh price to pay. The sunburst raspy cricket will never see the sun rise again. <laughs>